Warm welcome to all of our viewers around the country for the entries announcement for the 2022 Hollywood Bets Durban July, the 126th renewal of this great race. I'm joined by two of Hollywood's glamour girls. On my left is Rachel and on my right is Lisa. Ladies, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Let's get straight into it. We've received 68 entries at the early stage for this year's renewal of the 5 million rand Hollywood Bets Durban July to be run at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Saturday the 2nd of July. So let's go through those entries trainer by trainer. Starting with Andre Nell who's nominated Master Redoubt who ran a most pleasing race in the Grade 3 Politician Stakes and last time out was second in the East Cape Guineas. Ashley Fortune, she's inherited Sovereign Spirit. Sovereign Spirit ran sixth in the race last year, off a rating of 122, has dropped six pounds in the ratings to 116. That certainly gives Sovereign Spirit a handicap chance. Brett Crawford comes with three youngsters and one older campaigner. Future Prince, Zapatias, the youngsters, still trying to carve their career ahead of them, but Super Silvano is well tried, Future Prince, Super Silvano, and Zapatias from Brett Crawford. Candace Bass Robinson, the stakes winner, Fire Alley, and a most interesting entry is the well-performed Marina, who is, of course, a full sister to the 2017 Hollywood Bets Durban July winner, Marinaresco. Marina, already a stakes winner. She's 40 to 1 in the anti-post market. Can lightning strike twice? Can history repeat itself for the family? Candace Dawson, one entry at this early stage, perfect witness who's completely unexposed, but we'll watch the progress of perfect witness with a lot of interest. Dean Kanama, he knows what it is to win a July. He's got four entries at the early stage. Cosmic Highway was placed in the Cape Guineas. Former Cape Guineas winner, Russian Rock, Silvano's Timer, who's young and unexposed, and of course, the very exciting Waterbury Lane, who were cruised home to victory in a graded stakes race just the other day. Duncan Howells has nominated Lyrical Dance and Origami. They've both got some way to go in order to qualify for the final field of 18. Fabian Habib nominates Zeus. Beaten half a length in the SA Derby by Aragosta, he comes with a big, big reputation. Frank Robinson, based here in KwaZulu Natal at Sommerfeld, he's nominated Decorated. Also has some way to go in order to qualify for the race. Glenn Cotson, he of course also has a July victory on his CV. Cat Daddy, a stakes winner just the other day, Cholima, Crimson King, and Never Ending Rain, his quartet of entries for the 2022 Hollywood Bets Durban July. Harold Crawford and Michelle Ricks. Well, they've only got the one nomination, the one entry. Do they need any more? Last year's winner, Comedy Dung, also winner of the WSB Cape Met, Earlier in the year, Comedy Dung is the early anti-post favourite for this year's running of the Hollywood Bets Durban July. Johan Janser van Furen, Bingwa, Divine Odyssey, who's won his last four starts down there in the Eastern Cape. The highly promising Out of the Darkness. Puerto Manzana, highly rated, he's now rated 120 after running second in the Grade 1 Horse chestnut stakes over a mile at Turfentine just the other day. And of course, the multi graded stakes winner, second base. Joe Soma went oh so close with Got the Green Light to win the race that he so wishes to win. He's got his classic winner, Red Saxon, and backed up by Calibre Crest. Justin Snaith has no fewer than 12 entries. He's looking for his sixth victory in the big race. He's also looking to close the gap on Paul Peter as far as the South African National Trainers Championship is concerned. Amongst his 12 entries are two former winners of the Hollywood Bets Durban July. Bulgarian won it in 2020. 
Crown Towers, of course, is well course suited and very game and consistent. Do it again, won it in 2018 and 2019, but he's now seven. And the last seven-year-old to win this race was back in 1945. Double superlative, of course, a very promising prospect, won the Grade 1 Cape Guineas over 1,600 metres, so he's already a classic winner. The graded stakes winner, Hootspreit, comes in nicely handicapped. Jed Dark, three times a Grade 1 winner, twice in the Lawrence Queen's Plate and, of course, in the Champions Cup at Hollywood Bets Gravel last season. Also ran a cracking second behind Comedy Dung in the Cape Met earlier this year. Native tongue and one-way traffic form part of the Justin Snaith Amada, but an interesting runner is Pakaya. He's been gelded since his last run, and we look forward to massive improvement. Pump and Power was a runaway winner of the Cape Derby. Salvatore Mundi, very game, very consistent. And, of course, Warrior, who has plenty of scope for further improvement. Mike de Kock, he last won this race in 2011 with the three-year-old filly Igugu. Can this be his year? El Mathana, yet to prove that he goes the trip, but that is not the same for Aragosta, who recently won the World Sports Betting SA Derby. Motown Magic, an interesting nominee, completely unexposed. The Dingons and Guineas winners, safe passage, and of course, no stamina doubts about sparkling water. Mike de Kock, a very competitive hand in 2022. Paul Peter is flying high at the moment. He's got nine early entries for the 2022 Hollywood Bets Durban July. Asterix, Flying Bull, who's been an impressive winner of his last three starts. Great Affair, the highly rated MK's Pride, a recent winner of the Grade 1 Horse Chestnut Stakes. Does he go the trip? Naval Guard, coming along the right way, winning race after race, and we'll follow his progress through champion season with keen interest. Netta, very well performed, very highly rated, winner of the Grade 2 Gerald Rosenberg stakes. Then Reunion, Shangani, and of course, the very talented three-year-old Philly Sprinkles, who made her presence felt throughout the Triple Tiara campaign. Robbie Hill has nominated Passage of Power, so make a note of Passage of Power, Robbie obviously thinks very highly of him. Sean Terry won this race in 2012 and 2013, the last time with Heavy Metal, which gave Samanga Kamalo his first ever winner in this race. He's nominated two Summer Cup winners. The first of these is Flying Carpet, backed up, of course, by the fast-improving litigation, the well-performed Marigold Hotel, the top stayer Nebras, who was voted Champions Day last season, Paisley Park, and then moving over, of course, to the Triple Tiara heroine, Rain in Holland, a winner of eight races from only 12 starts. What a wonderful daughter of Duke of Marmalade she is. Then Shango, and of course his other Summer Cup winner from a couple of years back, Zilzal. Sinjin Gray has done wonders with marching on together. Since moving to the Highfelt, he's certainly Gone on with his career in fine style. Whether he's up to batching strides with the best of them in the Hollywood Bets Durban July is seriously open to question. Tony Riverland has nominated the honest, the dependable, reliable, tristful, who doesn't know what it is to run a bad race. Tyrone Zaki, last season's winner of the Jubilee Stakes, Johnny Hero is Tyrone Zaki's only entry thus far. And last, but by no means least, we come to Vaughan Marshall with his two entries. Linebacker, winner of the Daily News 2000 as a three-year-old, second, beaten half a length by Comedy Dung in the Hollywood Bets Durban July last year. His credentials are well established. He's now rated three pounds at this time below Comedy Dung, which means there should be absolutely nothing to choose between the two. Linebacker's stable companion is Senso Unico. Vaughan thinks very highly of this individual. He's been gelded since the Cape summer season, and we look forward to seeing Senso Unico in action soon. 
Well, those are the 68 entries for the 126th running of Africa's greatest horse race, the 5 million rand Hollywood Bets, Durban, July, taking place at Hollywood Bets Gravel on Saturday the 2nd of July. Let's have a look at the anti-post betting as supplied by Hollywood Bets. They've got linebacker at 10 to 1, second choice in the market. His arch rival, Comedy Dung, is the only one quoted in single figures at 6 to 1. Safe Passage, 12 to 1. Double Superlative, 14s, along with Hoodsprate, Pomp and Power and Sparkling Water, all at 14 to 1. Rain in Holland, 16 to 1. Jet Dark, Warrior, Aragosta and Bulgaria in the 20s. Do it again. Will he become the first seven-year-old to win the race since 1945 and achieve his third victory in this great race? He's at 25 to 1. And you can check your fancies as we go down all the way to Red Saxon, the classic winner at 40 to 1. And of course, Marin Oresco's full sister, Marina, also at 40 to 1. The longer shots, maybe you've got a fancy here. Litigation at 40 to 1, Summer Cup winner, Flying Carpet at 50 to 1, Waterbury Lane, 50 to 1, Senso Unico we spoke about, 66 to 1, all the way down to Tristville on the right hand side at 66 to 1. Nebras, of course, the champion stayer, is also at 66 to 1. And maybe Sovereign Spirit of a rating of 116 offers some early each way value at 66 to 1. He ran sixth last year of a rating of 122. He's now rated 116. Moving on to the final slide, we get to our real long shots. Some of these obviously may not make it all the way to Hollywood Bets Gravel on the 2nd of July. So there are the long shots as far as the anti-post betting is concerned. Well, thank you so much for joining Rachel, myself and Lisa. We trust you've enjoyed the announcement of the 68 entries for the 2022 renewal of the Hollywood Bets, Durban, July. The road to glory starts today.